These curls are feeling less beachy waves and more Shirley Temple. Awesome. Hey guys, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a BoxyCharm unboxing. These are seriously some of my favorite videos to do every month. I really love doing these with you guys and you're always so interactive and I love hearing what you got. If you're not familiar with how I do my BoxyCharm unboxings, here's how it goes down. First, I will take a look at last month's box. I will show you everything that was in the box and tell you whether or not I used it over the last month and whether I would have paid $21 for the box. Then I'm gonna go into this month's box sort of blind. I don't know what products are in here. My husband does look inside first and he tells me what kinds of products are in there. That way I know what I can and cannot come on camera with because I am going to apply everything that is in this box to my face. So before we get into the August box, let's go over the July box where the theme was all natural. First there was the Butter London Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. I'll be honest, I used this maybe twice throughout the whole month. It's okay, but I think it's just that the color scheme really doesn't do anything for me. These all seem so muted, and yes, they were nice, they were pretty, but I think I would really rather for this to go on to a home where it's going to be more loved, so I will be passing this on. It is pretty, it's nothing special. And this retailed for $32. I do not think it's worth $32 at all. I maybe would pay 15 bucks for this tops, definitely not 32. Next was the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I didn't try this on screen last time because I had already had, you know, done my skincare and stuff like that. But you guys, I wound up loving this. This is like a shot of hydration and vitamins to your skin. It made my skin feel actually plump and soft and smooth. I genuinely love this product. This is the one that had avocado and broccoli seed oils. Now, broccoli seed oil, I don't even know what that is, but my face likes it, so I like it. Retails for 35 bucks, I'd pay 35 bucks just for this. So, spoiler alert, I guess I thought that the whole box would have been worth 21 bucks. Then there was the Luna by Luna lip gloss. I will put a picture of it right up here. I absolutely hated it. I just, I really didn't like it. It was sticky, it smelled funny, it just wasn't for me. I used it once and I put it in my bag that I give away stuff to friends. It is not my jam. And it retailed for $18, which I think is kind of steep for a lip gloss, but I don't know, it just, it just didn't do it for me, so it, into the bag it went. I'm tripping over my tongue today. Then there was the Luxie Gaia three-piece brush set. So these are supposed to be more sustainable because they've got the wooden handles. I did not love this brush set, which is so weird for me because I've never said that about Luxie brushes, but these just, the handles feel great, the brush tips feel cheap to me. This literally feels like something I, I would have gotten at maybe like Claire's or a dollar store. Uh, this brush is okay, the large brush, but it is just so strange because it's flat here and it's really big. So, I mean, yes, I did use it to buff out and it's nice. And as you can see, it's dirty. I've used it a few times, but like this is too small for me to cut the crease. This was too synthetic to put on face masks even or foundation. It just, I just didn't enjoy it. But I probably will at least save this brush because I have used it a few times and I'm okay with it. But would I have paid 30 bucks for the brush set? Absolutely not, no. Last but not least, the Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water Wipes. Crap, these are awesome. I've used one of these, yes, one, because this is a pack of 10 that retails for $17. So every time I use one, I am spending $1.70. I had to use one to see what it was like, but once I realized how awesome it was, I wanna save this for when I go on vacation next month. This is a nice, slim package, and I wanna see how they do when I'm on vacation and I need to take off makeup and sweat and Disney food grime off of my face. Cracked a little bit on that last one there. So again, would I have paid $21 for last month's box? Definitely, only because of this I would, but also because of this, which this is just crazy how much these two are worth together. It is what, $52 just for these two? Yeah, I'm good. Now let's get into this month's box. First thing I do always is read the card, see the theme of the box, and it is <laughs> totally. I'm thinking that this is gonna be some 80s vibes in here. I'm not sure what 80s vibes would be. Oh, I hope there's not hot pink blush. I wouldn't be down with that. But anything else, let's 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 go for it. The first item is, oh, it's by Wander Beauty. It is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. So face oils tend to be almost the last step of my skincare routine. I wash my face, I do toner, I do hyaluronic acid, and then I usually do moisturizer mixed with face oil, and then sunblock after that. Those are my steps before I do my makeup. So I'll try this when I mix it with my moisturizer and we'll see how we like it. Oh, whoa, whoa, this retails for $42. 
This, I can't see anything being worth $42 that's in this tiny bit of a tube. It's so little. No, I don't know. Maybe it'll make me look like a glowing baby goddess. What's a baby goddess, I ask you? The next item is, oh, Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I have not tried this one by Tarte yet, and you guys know that Tarte is a cruelty-free brand. They even have the little bunny here. Unfortunately, it's the PETA bunny, and you guys know how I feel about that, but they are a cruelty-free brand, so I'm excited to try that out. This retails for 23 bucks, so already that's 60 five dollars in two items and you pay 21 dollars for this box i'm just i'm just saying the next item is small it is a lip pencil by steve laurent this is not a cruelty free brand so i am going to be passing this one on this retails for 15 dollars, and i mean it's hard pressed for me to find a lip pencil worth 15 dollars, especially like a wooden one like this that just kind of feels cheap but i can't fully judge it because i'm not going to use it i'm just going to leave this sealed and pass it along so womp womp the next item feels big this oh oh damn i have been wanting to try this for so long this is the becca hydra mist set and refresh powder so this is a loose powder that is supposed to feel like wet on the skin oh my god it's a beautiful full size how much is 39 dollars 39 dollars this is worth oh my god and keep me closed to keep me cool. It is supposed to feel cool on your skin. It's supposed to almost feel like moist on your skin. And yes, I just said moist. You can deal with it. I'm gonna pull out all those words that everyone hates, like panties. So, so, so excited to try this. Even though I'm not a huge powder fan, apparently this is like the anti-powder. It feels really good and it sort of like helps to blend your foundation in rather than make it look cakey or dry. And the last thing, oh, there's two last things in the box. We get six things. This is um, by Ace Beauty. This is a glimmer shadow in cotton candy. This looks exactly like a super shock shadow. So this is really pretty. This is like pink with gold undertones in it. I went through a phase where this was my jam. Let me see what this feels like. Uh, okay, it just feels like a, a regular eyeshadow. It doesn't feel like a super shock. See, oh, wow. Oh my god that is so metallic and beautiful holy crap that's stunning oh my god i'm really excited about this and this shadow oh okay it's a shadow duo so the other thing in there is also a shadow and they retail for 25 for the pair let's see what the last thing is and it's obviously another one of the shadows this shadow is an iced latte and oh my god these are beautiful. I don't know how I feel about these two colors together, so I don't know that I'm gonna use them both. But wow, that's pretty. The total value of this month's box is $144, but if I take out that lip pencil I'm not gonna use, it is still $129. The box costs 21 doll hairs. 21. I don't see how this box can lose, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab my moisturizer because I do want to try it with the Wander Beauty oil, and then we will see how everything else goes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm taking my regular face lotion, which is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I just put like a half pump of that in my hand, and then I'm gonna add a few drops of this. Oh, oh, it's pink. This does have a scent to it, but the oil feels very light. I use kind of a dense oil, if that makes sense. I use the Ordinary Squalane oil that I really like. This soaked in immediately. It doesn't feel oily at all. Wow, that, that just feels kind of nice. And there's definitely a little bit of illumination there. You can see it on my nose. You can see, woo, okay. I feel like it has this funny smell to it though that I can't quite place. Like medicinal, what is that? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation, my concealer, and my cream bronzer, and then I'm gonna come back and we will try this Becca powder. I'm so excited. God, I hope this doesn't let me down. Okay, I also went ahead and did my eyebrows, and I do like how you can still see a bit of luminosity coming through. I do use a very light coverage foundation. I even just used a tinted moisturizer today, so nothing big, but let's go in and try this powder. Oh, this is very nice. So there. 
it just closed on me like a clamshell. There is a very fine and nice sifter in there, so I do like that, and it's not kicking up too much powder. Okay, this little lid is gonna get annoying. I can tell you that already. Oh, and the, the sifter's even like bouncy. Let's see. Oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. It feels like I'm applying water to my skin. Oh my God, oh my God, this is so weird. <laughs> It's wet. This is wet. That's what she said. I am so thrown off by this. Oh my God. It just kind of exploded on me. That lid's gonna have to, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, so I was about to say that there's no white cast, but look at that. That's definitely like, that's some white powder right there, huh? Oh wow, that's, that's, that's kind of white. Hmm. Now I gotta make this side match. What's weird is that in person, it does not look that crazy white. So even though I made a mess with this powder so far, I do still love it. Um, even the white cast, it's not too bad, but what it did is it took down the kind of greasy oily shine, but you can see like, I still have a luminosity to my skin coming through. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just buffing out this bronzer a little bit more. Woo! but you can still see like on my nose and right here on my cheek, there's definitely a luminosity coming through. I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Let's zoom you in and let's do the eyes. So I think what I feel like doing is taking the shadow in iced latte and doing it kind of all over wash on my lid and seeing if I can do kind of a one color eyeshadow look because I feel like this could be super intense on the lid and then buffed out a little bit and maybe you won't need to do anything else with it. First, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this almost like just in the crease and just blending it out in general. So let's see how this looks. Okay, there's a lot of glitter in this. Still very pretty though. And there's my spot where no eyeshadow will ever grab. So for my lid, I'm just gonna use my finger because I think that's gonna be way more intense. And let's see, oh yeah, that's more intense. This is a very Linda color. So what's surprising is that yes, this is a lot of glitter and it is very intense, but it's not falling out at all. There's no glitter on my face. So I don't know how well you can see, but there is a significant dent in the shadow now after I used it. I think this is beautiful. Oh my God, I love this, I love this, I love this. How is there no fallout? I, I don't know these things. I'm not a genius. Next thing I wanna do is try this Tarte Big Ego Mascara. The tube is actually like really light, if that makes sense. I think it's because I'm so used to these like metal metallic tubes now like I have with my Kush Mascara and this is just plastic, but Let's see what the brush looks like. So it is an hourglass shape brush, very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Let's see. I forgot to curl my lashes. Screw it. So this is promising to have volume. So let's get a closer up look. See the difference? Mascara, no mascara. It's nice. Is it earth shattering? It is not. It's mascara. It did go on the bottom lashes nicely, so I'm happy with that, and there's not like a lot of goop or, you know, chunky bits. I'm gonna shoot off camera and do a lip and highlighter, and I'll be right back. Wow, welcome to my hair. Started out looking like Shirley Temple, and now it is straight again. Let's talk about this month's box. Would I have paid $21 for this month's box? Yes. Here's something I don't think I've ever said before. Would I have paid $50 for this month's box? Yes. Might I have paid $70 for this month's box? Yes. This powder is incredible. These shadows are beautiful. I love this mascara. This face oil made my skin glow. So the only thing I didn't use is that pencil, which I wouldn't have bought anyway. I can't believe that I got this for 21 bucks. I am so, so happy with this month's box. I hope you guys are happy with what you got. Comment down below, let me know what you got. Let me know how you're feeling about this month's box. Let me know if you're as excited about it as I am. I got to try all new products that I've never used before and I love them all. When does that happen slash, it, it, it just doesn't. And I don't know why I just said slash. I think I just use any chance I get in this world to mention slash. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. I do upload new videos here every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you guys are super freaking rock stars. And I love you with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.